if you look at the six foundation principles, they actually break up into two categories. Yin, nutrition, hydration, and sleep, those are the feminine principles. Those are the nurturing principles, moist, moistening, regenerative principles. Most people thinking is an outward expression of their energy. They're thinking about what am I gonna do today? Where am I gonna go? And because the mind, the brain is, is the most inefficient organ in the body, it uses about 80% of your available blood sugar anytime you're cognitively engaged, people can actually think themselves into exhaustion. So thinking is highly yang or male in general. It's very outward going. So then you have breathing. Breathing brings oxygen in. Oxygen is responsible for oxidization or metabolism, which is to increase heat in the body. That's yang. Movement in general is the utilization of energy to do something. So movement is a yang principle in general form because most people that have problems with movement have problems either from not moving enough or moving too much. But paradoxically, if you don't move enough, you actually get so deconditioned that you start moving too much by just doing activities of daily living. You're now overtraining. So I broke these uh, principles into two functional categories, the masculine or the outgoing, the feminine and the ingoing. And I found that people have a real hard time managing their mind because they're so distracted and diverted and, and suffering the effects of, you know, exp exposure to media and just too many things going on. Um, breathing is a very, very common problem for people. And if your breathing is not right, because it's the pivotal a physiological function that everything, you know, if you're not breathing, nothing else matters, right? Mm -hmm. So because there's so many problems with breathing, there's also going to be an energy crisis if you don't breathe properly. So we had to be able to get people's energy levels up through proper breathing. And it's easy to, to teach someone how to breathe compared to teaching them how to shop and live. So that has got to be addressed right away. And breathing has a direct effect on the mind. So we looked at thinking, breathing, and movement. So once I had those six foundation principles broken, I could then look at a person's diet and lifestyle and see where are they out of balance. And what you see classically is people are far, far too yang or outwardly expressive, and they cannot recuperate enough energy, nor they can, can they repair their body effectively, which leads them into a progressive breakdown, more and more pills, more and more doctor visits, more and more ailments. So really what I did was I took those six foundation principles, built them into a system that balances itself, and then developed systems for identifying where they needed specific coaching in each of those. And I found that to the degree that I was successful at that, people's problems went away and were often completely resolved because we're actually addressing the cause of the problem, not the symptom of the problem.